Hello again, this is Doug the Two Minute Gardener and it's time for another landscape makeover. This one I like to call the Zen Patio. So this particular client, young couple, uh, just got their first home. The inside of the house they worked hard on looks great. Now it's time to deal with the backyard. The backyard was just kind of this rolling pile of dirt with rickety fences, uh, walls, and uh, this <laughs> really dilapidated storage shed. So it was just kind of uh, kind of flat, but it kind of had a weird little slope to it. And so they came to me with a request. They wanted a big patio for dining. They have a big family. Um, they wanted a little side patio just for the two of them to kind of enjoy some peace and solitude. And then uh, finally a lawn for the dogs. Uh, they have two cute little um, dachshunds that are very, very cute. And they're really kind of neat little guys. Um, well, they're kind of like chihuahua dachshunds. But they're very cute little dogs. Anyway, so that's kind of what I just did with this design through different layouts all right so once that's done it's time to start tearing things apart knocking sheds down breaking it all down scraping it all flat then it's time for big red hose day i love big red hose day this is where we take the red hose and we lay out where the paver patio is going to be we use those metal bars to kind of uh showcase where the shade structure is going to go um and that way we can make some last minute adjustments all right so once they've ordered the pavers it's first time to fix the fence both fences were first falling down so we took that down and did a nice little picture frame fence that dealt with that little baby slope. So we had to kind of adjust to that slope. Then we brought in some paver samples um, to kind of show them some different options. They picked some pavers. They ended up going with these wonderful courtyard pavers from Angeles uh, here in Southern California. This is the sand copper stone, a really kind of wonderful beigey pattern, but still has a, a little bit of tints of, of yellows, uh, or not yellows, but of, of reds and maroons. And, and so it's kind of a really neat thing. And then as you've seen in previous videos, when we're laying out pavers, you lay down the base compact the base lay out the leveling sand and then start laying the field the field is the main part of the pavers and those go pretty darn quick you just have establish a pattern and the great thing about these four different size pavers is that they come in lots of different patterns you can use and you just, once you get a pattern going it lays out pretty darn quick the tough part is, of course, the perimeter where you have to do a lot of little cuts and anchor that with concrete, as you've seen in other videos. All right, once they got the pavers going, they also had to adjust this wall. Now, the client had worked with a neighbor to build this uh, lovely retaining wall to kind of help level the patio a little bit, but they didn't add the drain. So it was important, as you've seen in other videos, that you add a French drain along the retaining wall to direct the water away from the wall so it doesn't build up over time. And then we are going to stucco coat it. So we have to do the uh, drainage and then the mud coat, as you see him doing there. Once we got that in, we decided to bring in the big screening plants. Now, these beauties are just wonderful. These are these longleaf podocarpus shrubs. These are the 24 inch box size, already big and beautiful. These will get about 12 to 15 feet tall and about eight feet wide and make a really beautiful screen um, for that entire backyard from the two neighbors on either side. And so once that's done, then it's time to assemble the Yardisee stage structure. And well, as you've seen in previous videos with the Yardisee stage structure is the great thing about installing this over a paver patio is that you can assemble the frame position it exactly where you want. You can still move it around a little bit, then pull up the paver and then pour the concrete footing. These don't need terribly big concrete footings. About, you know, 18 inches deep by about 12 inches wide is sufficient to anchor this in. Once you've pulled the footings aside, poured the concrete, then you can put it back, bolt it into that concrete once it's dried, and then just to start assembling that kit. And that kit takes two guys about two days to assemble. All right, once uh, they're done with that, then it's time to lay in some beautiful plants. We brought in some fruit trees like these avocados and all kinds of cool foliage plants are going to fill in. Okay, now it's time for the before and after. So here's the before, just kind of flat dirt yard, not much to look at, not really a usable space. 
and here is the after now we have a big beautiful patio with a big dining area with a lovely shade structure solid top shade structure um, a big lawn for their two cute little dogs to run around and enjoy and play uh, the focal point in this entire backyard is this really gorgeous um, blue water fountain we got from backyard escapes a uh, little just bubbling but really adds a lot of pop of blue so they decided to carry that through with the furniture cushions uh, and some of the other furniture as well and then here's the small little patio for the fire pit for just the two of them something it's a little bit separate and as the plants grow in it'll be further delineated between the two syrup areas the really big patio and the small little cozy one just for the two of them to enjoy and in the middle they get to hear this wonderful water fountain just bubbling away no matter where they are in the yard and like I said, the main patio has both a living room and a dining room underneath there. Now, you might have noticed also we had some little elevation issues. We solved that with just this little baby stem wall and the little uh, stairs as well. Well, there you go. That's our Zen patio makeover. That's all the time we have for today. Hey, make sure to hit that like button if you have enjoyed this video. And subscribe to get more of my garden videos. This is Doug, the two-minute gardener saying thanks for watching.